We have Joby here. He was a client here with us at VRC as well as the tech. He has agreed to come down here and share his experience, strength, and hope with us. So we're going to talk about what it was like before coming to treatment. So can you get into what your relationships were like before recovery? Yeah, um, relationships were not uh, something I valued. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of um, empathy towards others, uh, their emotions, their opinions, um, really their existence, sadly, to admit. What about work? What was work like? Uh, work, um, pretty much the same. Um, I, I could usually excel very quickly for the first month or two while I was um, trying to keep a lid on my addiction. Eventually it comes out and then everything crumbles so you have to, uh, as quick as you can, try to run to another job. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the field of manual labor. So what was your inner landscape like? Thoughts, emotions, just about your life? I didn't run on anything specifically other than um, fear, um, inadequacy, uh, I had an inferiority complex, I had a huge ego for some reason. I was very proud of nothing and um, I, I tend, my, um, my go-to move was to try to make people feel as sad as I felt inside. As, as often as I could. The consequence of running a marriage like that in a relationship like that was I ultimately lost everything. And uh, at that moment, that, that was what I believed my rock bottom to be. The, when I was 33 years old when I got here and I, like I said, had lost everything. Um, that was the the worst thing that has ever happened in my entire life. Also, the best position I believed that I needed to be in in order to find recovery and to uh, start seeking treatment.